if, if both bots work to their potential. Uh, but there are some sharp edges there on, on Kazaa Light that uh, could get caught by DOSBot for sure. Absolutely. Those hard edges are a perfect target. If they don't hit dead square on the middle of that wedge, they're going to have a bad ton. The other thing we got to look for, Kazaa Light is a robot uh, that has a hard time igniting. Once it's going, it's going. But um, mm. it, it can take a good 30 Five, seconds before four, they get an ignition. Three, yeah. In which case, two, they're not doing one, any damage. Five, Sometimes you can use the sparks five, five. of the impact to There light. we go. Yeah. There it is. That's the fire we want to see. Barbecue that Godzilla. Oh, sharp edges on your wedge don't matter if you can just stay several feet away and flame your opponent from a distance. Yeah, there's... Uh, they are barbecue. Look, there's little... Oh, <laughs> the Godzilla, no. is, Godzilla on is on fire. <laughs> What's scarier than Godzilla, Adam? A flaming Godzilla. Look at that. Because I like giving up on the, the distance, just going in for the hits here. Darthbot having trouble moving. You know, moving enough to avoid the count out, but not enough really to, to take it to Kazaa Light. This, Kazaa Light look in. at that there fire it is. erupting oh. through the rusted cracks of Darthbot. That's what Kazaa Light wants to see, getting and I, under. I'm not seeing any movement now, or hardly any movement, of that shell. You know, it's almost like they freed up some of the mechanisms, even a little bit more movement out of Darthbot You know, now. sometimes when I'm having a trouble <laughs> getting a bolt loose on an old car, I take a blow torch to it. Heat and it, uh, it just works a little better. Loosen it up a little bit. Now Darthbot having some issues spinning ah! up. Oh, no! Godzilla goes flying. There we go, getting up to speed. Kazan Light needs to get in here and slow it down. You don't want to get that kinetic energy built up too far. You don't. And remember, Darthbot does not spin that fast. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't spin up that fast either. So it really needs to make those big hits count and not let its opponents stack smaller hits and wedges. Yeah, at, at this point, you got to think it's Kazad Light's fight now. They just need to stay on, keep this pins, get this control, stay aggressive. Darthbot really unable to do much. Although Kazad Light is having trouble releasing this pin, of course, with the judging rules, if you're unable to release a pin, the pin doesn't count uh, for your control points uh, if you have to be separated like this. Yeah, it's, it's still better than actively being attacked for that time yes. duration, so it's preferable, but it's not a mistake you want to make. You don't want to leave that, yeah. those points on the table. Yeah, it's, it's basically neutral time as opposed to positive time. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a noise! <laughs> There's another good wedge and a pin. Remains to be seen if he'll be able to separate in a moment. You really um, hope he'll be able to back out here. Otherwise, it's it's not going to be a good look for the judge to have two unreleased pins. If they could have had the flamethrower going then, well, here. There you go. There it is. Now, that, that looks a lot better. Now, the flamethrower being down is going to count as damage against Kazad Light, and it also seems like half their drive is a little unhappy it's struggling i think yeah. that is is overheating i know the drive system's relatively new on kazaa light and darkbot weighing 45 pounds is going to be a lot of uh, force for kazaa light to try and push around on top yeah that said we are going to the judges on this fight we're gonna have yeah. to see how they weigh in uh, either way i got to see some fire i got to see some sparks i'm a happy guy a tough one